So hi mateys. A little bit more back to normal. I'm using the Kodak. Uh, played with the uh, Nikon and for some reason I don't think I'm getting it to record. I won't know until I get it home and uh, put the chip in the computer and see what it did. I may have to go online and look up the actual camera uh, find out how I'm supposed to operate it. Slightly different than what I'm used to here with the uh, with the Kodak. So uh, I am going to continue to speak English throughout this. I honestly do not know any Portuguese. Port Portuguese? Is that how you say that? Portuguese let alone I barely know some Spanish so this looks a little bit better maintained than the last cemetery we visited that looks like I can get in okay there's something here but it only looks to be aerial shot with cemetery rules and the address it's got numbers on it for the sexton I guess to identify who is buried where oh. it's a beautiful afternoon I was hoping to uh, try out the uh, telescope lens because it goes all the way to 34 so I know you can't see that well maybe you can center of the screen there's a house out there in the distance on top of the hill well that 34 times on the Nikon would bring that thing right up close we probably see people walking around in their yard Okay, the back of the sign has no more information. Uh, it said established 1886 on that sign, so I would guess the oldest might be 1886 as far as persons interred here. However, isn't it possible that the graveyard was actually here before they incorporated it, so to speak? Okay, 1899 1902 like uh couple people have said it's interesting to uh, walk through a graveyard and more or less imagine there's an 1892 and a 1905 kind of imagine what these people were all about back in the you know, hundred and some odd years ago more than that you know 140 years ago Let's say Pintler eighteen sixty something. Okay, so that's older than the established when the cemetery was established. 
1940s. Bushel. I don't see anybody named Lisbon yet. But maybe this little area was known as Lisbon. A small farming community perhaps to the west of Sparta. Back then, in the 1800s, Sparta was not known as Sparta. It was known as Nashville. When did it become Sparta? I'm not sure. Here's 1878, 1922. Some very interesting piers stones, obelisks. So I'm always fascinated by. You wonder what was the cost of making one of those back in the day. I mean today, by today's prices you're probably looking at 10 grand, I don't know. Not sure. I know Oh, it's been going on 20 years. My mom's, my family stone was over $900. And it's, it's a very nice stone, but it's nothing huge like these. 1855. Wow. So this stone has been there most likely for... Let's see, we're in 2023, so we're going to years, 130, so this is almost 180 years old stone, incredible. That doesn't mean that they put it down the same day the guy died, but Johnson's. There's two stones. One right here. One over there. It's almost identical. So I'm guessing. Well, this one says Wagner. Wonder how many of these are are Johnson's. Maybe these are the Wagners through here. Maybe these are the Johnsons over here. Makes sense. Carl, 1901. The mother, 1909. The father, 1907. Oh, this says Meyer. Swanson. Swanson's a common, well I shouldn't say a common name, but I know some Swansons that live in the Sparta area. And I've heard the Myers name, although that's spelled differently.
we used to have an urn just like that at our cemetery plot, but they did away with them. We're only allowed plastic flowers anymore. At least that's what I heard. Not positive about that. But I'll be going to our family cemetery plot in Georgetown in a few weeks, or a couple weeks, or maybe, maybe, maybe even this coming week, come to think of it. Because it is time to decorate the, the grave sites. It's interesting, got the basket of apples there, so I'm assuming Sun didn't live very long, 98 till 2019, so he was barely 21 years old. Hmm, that's a little bit interesting. I see a mom in the picture, so to speak. That up there in the straight in the middle looks like a, an industrial building over there. But I think it's probably apple orchard related. Might be one of those raised barns that they use. They're interesting in and of themselves. Some of these Nearly every one of them face west, which makes sense. Your feet go to the west when they interior you in the ground. So it makes sense that the uh, stone would face west with the names. A bear. This guy was a private in World War One. Passed away September 15th of 1919, so that would have made him 27, approximately, 26 or 27 years old. Killed in action in New Guinea, November 26 of 1942. Buried in Manila, age 22. Wow. So the bears aren't all together as far as their bodies are concerned. Meeker. Sure. Eighteen eighty-four. Rest in peace. Peaceful slumber rest. Wow. Electra. 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 Electa Meeker. Not sure. No, 1911. Okay. The Rosenbergs. I'm not going to catch every corner of this cemetery, but basically a good two of them and a little bit in the middle.
Susanna Reed. She was 84, almost 85. She died in 1917. Ira Blanchard, July 1, 1881, 60 years old. Someone here with a vet of some more. You know, I just realized so I haven't seen any flags. What's up with that? So I've, I see markers for veterans, but I haven't seen any flags. Yeah, here's another marker for a veteran. Interesting. Miss thee at home. It's 35 years old. Oh, I see a flag down the hill there. I don't know if you can see it. How blurry it gets after a minute. Okay, that's five times enlarged. That's not so bad there. That's okay. And that's normal. That's basically pretty close to as my eyeballs are seeing things. Alright. I definitely gotta go back and see this round. flags over that direction. So I'm proud to see that. Atkins. That's a name that's around here. I think there's an Atkins farm. Austin. I haven't, don't know any people by the name of Austin. This is Atkins. There's this plain old rock in the ground. Maybe that was for a dog. one gotta look at that L I G H T at rest is that the name light no by Linda Jones the wife of George light was born September 21 1827 she got married July the 1st of 1847 so she would have been not quite 20 years old she died 28th of 1900 a tender mother and a faithful friend and there's the children and they are buried in Racine Wisconsin and they were all babies 
Amos. He, he was two years old. And then Lauren was one year old. Curious, you know, the the one that was two years old it was 1854 when they passed, and then these two, both in 1865, ages one and seven, makes you wonder. Curiosity: Was there a tragedy? An accident? What happened? You know, maybe there's a way to look that up. Doesn't say the day, but 1865, and you have the last name of Light. Okay, here's George. He was 65. He knew that God was his father and never forgot that man was his brother. I like that. Young Blood, I've heard that name. McGuire, Huber, McGilvey. I don't see any Lisbons yet. <laughs> Myers has a flag. And I don't know what the other stone is. It's one of those shaped stones that have become a little more popular in the recent years. What does that say? Larry's World, I think. That stone says heft. Is that scrap metal back there? Probably not. If it is, I'm not getting it. Yes, it says Larry's World. Huh. I can see my sandals. My legs are still white. I need some sunshine. A lot more than I'm getting today. I hope you can hear me all right. The wind is picked up. Okay, Myers and Heft and Heft. Yonkerman, that's a pretty good Dutch name. Heft. Okay, Larry's World. The back side says Lawrence Raymond Heft, was born in 65 and died in 97. That's pretty young. I like this, it's a little. Tractor. Charles 